Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about static class members. It is nothing but static properties and methods, the static feature of the class. So, before we move forward, first I will tell you what is static. What is the static property? Okay, static means what? Static means constant or fixed, right? So, uh, if you come to the class example, so, suppose we have a transaction class. This transaction class can have multiple instances, right? Transaction TR1, TR2, TR3, three instances. Each instance means what? Each instance has its own copy of variables. This TR1 has its own copy. TR2 has its own copy. That means after performing some operation, T TR1 instance, the uh, TR1 instance variables can have different value. The TR2 instance variables can have different value. These things. So each instance of the class can have its own copy of variables but sometimes the only one variable or only one version of the variable required to be shared by all the instances that then how we can achieve that by using this static property okay so when only one version of the variable is required to share by all the instances that time we can go for the static property so the system will have allows the static property to be used in the class members we will see how to use okay so a static keyword is used in a class member to denote class as static properties or static methods properties means data members and this uh, static methods means functions or task okay a static we will use the static keyword in order to achieve this static property static keyword we will use before the variable a static property is a class variable that is associated with the class rather than with the instance of the class. We know, right, only one variable or one version of the variable will be shared by all the instances. That means what? A static property is, it is associated with the class, not with the instance, because all instances will share the same variable. That means it is associated with the, the transaction class, not with the TR1, TR2, TR3. Okay? It is associated with the class. And the static variable declared inside a class with a static keyword shares a single memory location across all the instances. So this uh, static variable, it will be shared with all the instances if we have n number of instances. So for all the instances, it will be shared. That means any changes made by one instance that will be affected in another instance. Like in uh, shallow copy, how the object uh, right object will not be copied whenever we made any changes to one va uh, variable it will be affected in, in that variable as object also so that is nothing but here static it will be affected okay any changes made to the one object will be reflected in another object because it shares the single memory location and the static variable implies that only one copy exists we know that when the class has multiple instances each instance have the, its own copy its own copy of variables but when we use this static keyword static means it implies that only one copy exists with all the instances and non-static class members cannot be accessible from the static method in static method non-static class members cannot be accessible non-static class members is nothing but automatic this static opposite what is what is the static opposite word automatic right in class we can have either static or automatic no other terms okay so non non static means automatic variables so this class uh, properties this non static class members cannot be accessible from the static method so we will see the in static method okay and the syntax is first we have to use the static keyword then the data type name whether it is int logic bit anything static int variable name okay this is how we can write the static property in the class so when we come to the static methods methods means task and functions here also same static methods are same as static variables that also follow the class access rules and scope and static functions and tasks cannot be virtual so we cannot use the virtual keyword with the static functions okay it is not allowed and they can access only static properties means static members of the class accessing non-static members leads to the compilation errors as it is illegal to use we cannot use the non-static members inside the static methods okay inside the static methods only static variables are allowed 
they can access only static properties static properties means static variables static members of the class accessing if you want if you want to access the non static members inside the static method we will get the compilation error and but non static functions or tasks can access static variables so if if you have a non static functions means automatic functions by default whatever the function or task is there inside the class those are all automatic only okay those are all non non static functions that means automatic functions so inside the automatic functions you can use the static or non static members non static properties okay but non static functions or tasks can access static variables but static with uh, static methods cannot access the non static variables okay we will understand um, i will explain again in the code okay both static methods and static members in the class can be accessed without creating an object this is the one useful okay this is the one important method without creating the object we can access the uh, static prop, uh, static variables without you don't have to create the object without creating the creating the object we can access this static members we will see okay and one more thing is static function and function static this is one important question in interview they will ask okay what is the difference between static function and function static so we will see what's what's the difference between these two so static function means we just discussed what is static function first we will use the static keyword and Uh, this is the syntax okay and it can access only static variables non static variables are not allowed to access it leads to the compilation error so can access only static variables and this and super keyword cannot be used so i will discuss what is this this and super in the next video this keyword and super keyword cannot be used in the static function but in function static this is the syntax to write the function static function after the function we have to use the static keyword see in the static function first we use the static right so in function static after the function we need to use the static keyword and the same code and it can access both static and automatic variables inside the function static you can use the static members also non static members also and here we can use the this and super keyword okay this is a uh, main two points we can differentiate with, with these points so this is all about static function and function static we will see more in next video okay in the code thank you